Well, from shutting down schools to virtual learning and now back in the classroom, it's no secret that students have been dealing with a lot of added stress during the pandemic. But a Northeast Ohio school district believes they've adopted a creative way to keep students engaged. Fox H Jennifer Jordan is here now with more on the so-called safe spaces. Jennifer? Well, Tracy, it has been proven that in time of stress and transition, educators often see a spike in aggressive behaviors, conflict, even power struggles with students in the classroom. But leaders inside the South Euclid Lynnhurst City School District believe they have found the perfect solution. It's where people go to calm down. It is not your typical classroom. They have some books in there they can build with the magnet tiles. Eight-year-old Josiah Morgan describing his classroom's so-called safe space inside Roland Elementary School in South Euclid. <laughs> Utilizing a comfy chair, area rug, or pillows, it is where students dealing with disciplinary issues or mental breakdowns can take a moment to self-regulate. It's not a timeout, and it's not a quiet corner where you just go to. There's a process of self-regulation where we are moving the lower from the, the students are moving from the lower centers of their brain to the higher centers of the brain to where optimal problem solving and learning can occur. It's all part of a program called Conscious Discipline, unveiled inside South Euclid Lynnhurst City Schools four years ago. Colorful posted charts inside classrooms and hallways, enabling students to self-diagnose whatever emotions they may be experiencing, determining if a safe space break is needed. And the student safe places aren't just for students. This is a teacher calming area where they can come in, get a massage, listen to music, anything to decompress before heading back into the classroom. The Safe Space program has expanded now in all elementary, middle, even high school buildings. Assistant Principal Sylvia Marshall already noticing major changes. You don't want to go to the principal's office, but honestly, I don't deal with a lot of behaviors. I don't deal with a lot of, you know, negative things because what our teachers are doing in a classroom with their safe places is really helping students stay in the classroom. Josiah, whose favorite subject is math, says he hasn't used the safe space inside Mrs. Davidson's classroom just yet, but says changes in his classmates' behaviors are evident. They are ready to learn. They're ready to do, to do their reading and their math, and they feel better. Now founded more than 25 years ago, Conscious Discipline is practiced in 73 countries and 22 different languages, serving not only teachers and students, but also administrators, mental health professionals, and parents. Oh, I, I think it's a fantastic idea what they're doing there, and I think we could all benefit from these safe spaces. <laughs> exactly. I think mm -hmm. we need to give Andy a call soon, <laughs> Tracy, yeah. our news director, see if we can get a safe space yeah, or maybe here a, in the newsroom. A, a calm room. <laughs>